Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jay and this is my channel Jay and the Cherita. And last week we showed, actually for the last few weeks, we've been showing a little bit of what we've thrifted and found at estate sales. And today I'm gonna be redecorating a little bit and just switching some stuff out, um, which is the reason why I'm finding this stuff. And we're probably gonna do a little bit of a spring switch over in my wardrobe um, and also in my shoe closet, shoe and bag accessory closet. Um, I've actually thrifted a lot of my wardrobe and a lot of my shoes and accessories. It'd just be fun to walk through what I've found over the years and what I'm keeping, but mostly it's just kind of a spring switch with me um, and, you know, redecorate my walls with some stuff that I found. clean out your closet so I'm basically just actually doing a wardrobe switch so I'm, I'm pulling out more kind of winter items darker items um, out of my closet and switching over some of my spring stuff that I want to have in my closet in here for the spring and summer um, and I'm not saying that you can't have dark clothes for uh, for spring and summer, I actually do think that you do need some, you know, black blazers are always good to have even in the winter. I just thrifted this one. Um, it's kind of, it's a blazer, but it's like more of a smart jacket, a little bit more elegant. Um, and I actually really like the length of it. It's not too long. It's not too oversized, but it fits just right. And I wore this um, to a conference uh, just recently. I, I went to speak at the Clinton Foundation and um, I wore this, a nice bright red shirt, uh, white trousers and black shoes. It was a little bit more French style, but really a nice outfit. Uh, so I like stuff like this to kind of pull everything together, make it look a little bit smarter, even though the rest of the outfit was very spring-like and like bright colors. Um, this grounded that outfit a little bit. Over time, I'm trying to find better clothes to switch out my high street clothes. And like, that's the whole point, right? Um, if you can find good quality stuff that's not damaged, um, switch out your high street stuff. You know, unless you really love that with that high street thing that you bought, or maybe you also found it at the thrift store, that's fine. Um, you know, it's really about what you want in your closet. And and there are there are high street items that I'm keeping that I really like. There are some flannels that I will keep out um, because I think it's flannels are good all year round. Um, I am keeping, I am putting some of the more autumn flannels away, um, but something like this that has a little navy blue in it and white, I think, um, is good to keep. Uh, and you, a, a good flannel is always just such a great cover up. I feel like we recently organized this closet and it's in disarray again, so I'm a little like ashamed of myself. But, you know, things happen. Like, that's just part of life for me. My life, um, when I'm here in the morning, 
like rushing out the door trying to just do a bunch of stuff and rushing out the door like sometimes they I don't you know I pull stuff out and then I just throw it back in I might even get like a separate clothing rack just to like pull out my stuff that I want to wear and iron the night before and then my morning doesn't feel so hectic I'm excited to pull out my linen again. Um, linen material is really nice and I look for it at the thrift store. It's also like, look through the men's clothes. Um, you know, sometimes oversize is better and men's clothing, they have some good stuff. Like I found a lot of my stuff in the men's clothing. Um, especially like if you're a curvy girl, um, Actually, sometimes people think that something's men's and it's not. <laughs> it's just a larger size. It's not funny. That's actually really messed up, but whatever. <laughs> so whoever's like sorting the clothes just doesn't know. Denim. I'm excited to wear denim. I'm excited to wear um, linen. Denim on denim right now in the spring that it's not too hot is a really good thing so I gotta wear my denim again like I gotta just remember all right there's some stuff in here that's got to go in the donate pile <sighs> looking at the time because I'm actually gonna have to jump on a quick call um, for work oh I'm excited about this thrifted Tommy Hilfiger um, it, I need to iron this for sure or like I need to steam it not iron it um, I don't iron much. Um, I like steaming the clothes, but it's it's a nice light pink blazer, and I I thrifted it, and I really like the fit. It's like I really I wear a lot of oversized stuff, and it depends on the outfit, like what's gonna look good. But something like this is really nice for like you know a work conference, and I do work a lot, as you can tell. It's the weekend, and I'm about to jump on a call. Um, but it's a good reminder that I have something a little bit lighter and a little bit more feminine, um, because sometimes I feel a little more feminine and I want to feel that way and the occasion calls for it. Oh, my yellow skirt. I'm excited about this. This is hard to wear, but I refuse to give it up. Also thrifted um at salvation army um i just need more inspiration it even has like belt loops it's hard to wear because of the color but it's also like too good to give up so i refuse to give this up i need to just find inspiration but okay guys um it is a few hours later i know i look like a hot mess i had a work call then church then my grandma called me for an hour and 15 minutes and I am really glad that I dedicated that time to speak with my grandma. Um, I haven't talked to her in a long time so give your grandparents some time if you still have them, if you're still lucky enough to have them in your life. Um, you know we talked about everything. She's just full of wisdom and advice and we don't live in the same country so it just was so nice to talk with her um, and even though it took some time because grandma likes to talk a lot it was actually so nice to just have a cup of coffee and have a conversation with her so um i actually oh and i had to go pick up um a rug that i got at an auction um so i don't know if i'm going to show that to you guys today because i got to get it out of the car and i have to wait for david because it's heavy and I like hurt my back, um, but not the smartest to go pick up a rug when you're wearing knit. So I'm sorry if I'm like, I'm just a hot mess. It's raining outside and my hair is a wreck, but um, we're gonna try and get some of this done. But I did wanna just show you guys a little bit cause I am doing a wardrobe switch. Um, some items that uh, I think are important. Denim skirts are a big deal. Um, maxi denim, this is not maxi, it is midi, but um, you know, still good. I love that I bought, that I thrifted this kind of sundress. This is gonna be when it's probably a little bit warmer, 
but this is just such a great dress for you know going out in the garden maybe having some lunch out in the garden it's from who what where um, and I actually thrifted this in a thrift store in Florida also from a thrift store in Florida a lands and just um, you know button up really nice to put over bathing suits so things like that are fun this is this is gonna take me a long time so I'm actually gonna move on for a little bit and do something else and then I'll come back to this when it's like darker and boring <laughs> uh, that's gonna take me forever but I'll do it later the sun is coming out now and it's like my day is kind of gone um I kind of just put these up uh, to see. So I had a bunch of baskets like this, like, um, well, I guess for my winter decor, I had some snowshoes that I put out here, but I switched these out often. So I had three baskets similar to this, like wall baskets, um, just like one, two, three. Uh, and then I found these and I thought these would be nice, but I need another piece for here. So I'm just playing around, like I don't even know um, what will look good, but okay, I noticed that this needs a clean, um, but I also found some rub and buff because there's a little imperfection here, a little like chip, and I just want to see if it actually, like, can I cover this up? Like, there was like a weird noise just now. <laughs> what was that? Actually, that works out really nicely because some of it has some darkness in it. This is rub and buff European gold, so it has a little antique darkness in it that actually works nicely with the rest of this. You see you guys like just because of that little chip doesn't mean you know don't get the items you literally could just rub and buff them okay i need to clean them though let me i'm gonna clean them but now that i have this stuff on my fingers and yeah like i use my hands for everything um i'm not scared of touching stuff and i don't know maybe that's a bad thing but I don't, I don't get easily, you know, grossed out or anything like that. So, okay. The sun is shifting. So I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit weird. I'm going to clean these. This is like when I had like um, a, like a farmhouse kind of boho look. I actually really do still love this print. I love cows and I love any farm animals. So I might even just take the print out and switch it out from this like kind of cheap target frame. Um, so I'm not sure what I'll do with that. And I'm just kind of playing with what but we'll fit here. I don't know if I wanna do like one big piece or several small pieces, or if I wanna switch out a mirror in the other space. Just gonna measure this. Okay, we'll see. I like it better than the farmhouse animal for sure. Sorry if my Jesus picture is creeping you out. It actually um, was a gift from my mother-in-law. And of course, I love Jesus. Um, <laughs> I don't have a lot of religious stuff in my home, uh, but she did give me this beautiful image. It actually is one of those images. I, I, I don't know what it's called, but it reflects something different when you turn this way. And actually this is super creepy because it's him like dead. Um, sorry, Jesus, I love you, but um, I don't like that side, I like this side. 
and I didn't have a place for him. Like I just was trying to find a good place for him and he is beautiful. He looks a little bit more realistic to me. I thought um, the the kind of art view of him in this image is really nice and it's nice to see and my partner David loves to see it because his, his mother gifted this to us and he's very religious so it's just really nice to see that when you're coming home and when you're leaving out the door. Um, but I think what I wanted to highlight is that I, I, I actually, I mean I'd like to get a frame. I don't know maybe even use that big frame to switch some stuff out this is something that i got at ikea that holds like poster and in here is a cutting of a wallpaper like a textured wallpaper that i've used in my on my furniture upstairs and painted um but it's it's actually that color it's just white so back when we first moved in um i was just trying to hide this like unsightly uh, electrical panel <laughs> and it just it bothered me so much but I didn't have the right frame that could cover this up so I just made my own thing um, and Jesus wasn't here yet it just was a textured kind of wall decor decoration um, that I kept up for a while and now Jesus is um, Lord, now I can get it back on. Now Jesus is just command stripped onto the frame. So now he just kind of hangs out there and you know, I like that he has a little ornate background that he can, he can hang out with. So what I did was I took one of my thrifted finds from that local church pop-up thrift store and I put a print um, that I ordered on Etsy of Van Gogh um, that I had all, I mean, these two prints were just kind of hanging out together and I didn't find, I, I don't have the, I didn't have the right frames for them. So I was glad when I found that, um, that frame at the thrift store um, so I could put him in there. And then we have this, what is this? It's like a knitted coaster super cute with like a nice little wallpaper border. I just got this at um, the Elephant Trunk Flea Market and I thought it was really cute. It was like $2 and I just, I like adding different kinds of texture this way. Um, so ornate gold frames, you know, this textured wallpaper, uh, wood, gold mirrors, and I really liked this um, kind of textured fabric in a frame. Uh, I think it just adds a little bit of interest. So I'm just trying to fill it um, and kind of create a little gallery wall situation here. We have two other things, another mirror. This I also got with the auction. So I got um, a rug, botanical print, this uh, ornate mirror and this kind of oil flower painting. I mean, it's it says it's inspected. Timothy's Fine Art loved that, I thought, that it actually brought out this a little bit. Um, we have other flowers over here, like a floral arrangement and it's spring. So maybe something like this would kind of lift the darkness of the two prints. What do you guys think? I mean, this obviously won't fit. We don't need another mirror anyway. And a mirror up here doesn't make any sense because you can't see yourself. Um, so I don't know, I feel like this, this might be good or the three. I put that guy up there. I know I'm having a hard time committing right now. I think why I, I feel like it needs it is because this is its own little gallery wall. So now what's happening here is I have a gallery wall and I'm feeling like this is nice and balanced and so is this, but I'm just like, does it need, does this need to be balanced over here? 
because those are those are larger pieces and these are smaller pieces. I think I might do it. I might just put you up here. Um, I mean, the other option is to lower this one, lower this. Well, actually, no, I, I don't think I'd want to do that. I don't know. I'm going to think through that. But if you have an opinion, comment down below. All right, one other thing that I like haven't shown you, but I actually thrifted that at that um, store, that uh, pop-up thrift store, and it was that little single kind of wall candle holder, and I just put it up there. Okay, here is kind of another conundrum. So right now we're standing in Lecherita's space. Um, she has a litter down here that she uses. Um, and she's used to this space, so I can't, this is her territory and I can't move it. I mean, that's just the reality. And I wish I had a bigger house, but I don't. Um, she is a free room bunny and this hole downstairs is her area. Uh, but this is where she goes to the bathroom. Um, yeah, it is probably unsanitary that like my dining is here. I usually don't dine here, I dine over there. Um, I am gonna be, I do wanna switch out this table. It's very old Ikea and I like hate it, <laughs> but I'm, I'm looking for something. But anyway, before Le Chirita joined our home, I had, you know, this table, it wasn't in such bad condition. I had kind of black um, table accents that matched the decor of my room at the time. And this was centered around the table. Um, now I've added more kind of gold, brown, ornate details. I did want an additional mirror to kind of see more of ourselves. So I got that Facebook market mirror um, and I do like how it reflects light. Um, but now we have, you know, mirror, mirror, very close together. I don't know about this. This is probably not working out. Um, and I could center this mirror a little bit more, but then it's not it's not really centered with the table because I can't move the table over very much um, because that's her area, <laughs> that's her, her potty area. Uh, the other two pieces that I got were these. I wanna use, I'm, I mean, I, I'm excited about these two pieces. And I feel like they kind of make sense around her space. Um, I, they make sense to me in two areas. One is around the kitchen because they're farm animals and farm animals to me make sense around the kitchen. I actually don't have any more space in my kitchen um, for additional art. I have two bunnies, two of them are sharing carrots and she's a bunny. She's a Holland Lop. And then I have two cows and we call her Lecherita because she looks like a cow and eats like a cow. So her name is Lecherita, like like a milk, a milking cow. If you're Latino or Spanish speaking, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, there are these little like condensed milk uh, can things that are super yummy and they're called Lecheritas. So as a joke, that's what we called her um, and it's it stuck. But she reminds us of a cow. So, because she she's like looks like one, that's her coloring. So we, I when I saw these, this pair, I was like, these make sense here. One wall has these, you know, kind of cottage fairy prints that I do love, and I don't know that I want to get rid of. And then one wall has a mirror. I feel like something's gotta give for all of this to fit. So here or here. This seems real crowded to me. But that's just not gonna work. Just did an Instagram reel. <laughs> so this is kind of like the mess that I'm dealing with. Um, I, I went to a thrift store and I'll probably share that later on, like a, a later haul, but sneak peek. And this is like hanging out here until I can figure out what to do with my life. But um, I'm also just staring at this thing and 
I'm probably, I mean, I need to style this for sure. That was such a good find. Um, it was $7.50. It was actually marked $15 at the thrift store, but it was a yellow tag. So $7.50 for that lamp. To move you. Oh my God, this guy is so heavy. This is real. This was, this is a thrifted find, um, remix market. And I got it for, I think 15 or $20. This is real wood, like heavy wood. Like I'm dying right now. Um, so I guess the other option, oh my God, geez, I forgot how heavy this has been up for a while. So I forgot how heavy this was. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna have to move it over. I hate this. I use my hammer so much, like my hammer is probably like, and a screwdriver are the most important tools for me. <laughs> and I really want an antique one. It's okay. I just don't know if, if I want my bun and my other little thing over here, like not next to the kitchen. It's kind of in the dining room. So I mean, maybe that's a thing. And then we have a little collection of animals. Actually that, that might work out. Cause then we have our little ducks, our little cows and our little bunnies together. And it fills up this space. So there's not like a whole bunch of random wall space here. Lord. I probably just scared the bejesus out of my poor bunny. Those were books that tipped over. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, I just realized we need to vacuum here. That's the reality of living with a bunny. <laughs> it's like I have five other bunnies living in my furniture. So let me vacuum that. My couch is in disarray because I'm I'm doing I'm cleaning the slip cover. I kind of just eyeball it to be honest with you. David got home and he wanted us to eat some dinner together. So that was nice. It was a nice surprise for him to get home early. Um, so I am just using this fill stick to fill in one of these holes and the other one up here. Sorry, that's Lechera. <laughs> Careful, baby. Careful, mama. She's up, she's being curious. Are you, are you upset? She's like, what is happening right now? Hold on. Did you wanna come here? There's something blocking her way. If you wanna come, you can. Okay. Chitta, you're being silly. You hyper? You're looking for, she's looking for her dad. That's what's happening. She, she loves him. They are significantly bonded, the two of them. Which of course would happen, right? Like, she's my bunny and my idea and she bonds with her father. 
it's funny, but it's okay. Applying a little bit of rub and buff, like right here, just to kind of smooth out some of that tarnish. See right there? Just rubbing it in. This one's in really good condition. I feel like this one wasn't used that much and, and this one was used more. And that's why this one, I mean, I can, I don't blame you. This print is really pretty. But this, when I found these at that Goodwill, I almost walked away from the pile because there was just so much to look through and I was like, ah, there's nothing here. Everything here is junk. And then I was like, let me just dig a little bit deeper. And then I saw something gold like this and I saw it, the circular, I saw it circular. And then I was like, ah, oh, like an oval. And then I, and then I found two and I was like, oh my God, like so happy that I found the two of these. These were, she gave they were marked five. I don't know why she gave them to me for four, but hey, I'm not complaining. It was great. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I do hope that you find some inspiration for your own um, spring switch out. Uh, I post every week on this channel, but be sure to give me a like and a subscribe if you like what you're seeing so that I know um, that I should be doing this or maybe, you know, comment down below if there's something else you wanna see. Because next week I hope to kind of give an updated home tour um, or just show how I style my home with my thrifted finds. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.